welcome to subramani uh, i am not a big believer in uh, asset allocation and i have done uh, enough videos saying that i don't believe much in asset allocation uh, but i believe in diversification of portfolio so when you dive, so so let's put it this way uh, people running their own business uh, make a lot of money by doing focused investing so you don't go and tell a uh, mukesh ambani why don't you sell off some reliance and buy wipro nor do you tell azim mr azim prem ji that why don't you sell off some wipro and buy reliance that doesn't happen so large amounts of wealth are created by uh, creating a concentrated portfolio but largely concentrated portfolios are mostly by owners uh, i haven't seen somebody who said i have only 5 shares uh, which is uh, say a wipro reliance xyz abcd whatever and i have made a lot of money there could be but i really don't know them so largely uh, or you go and put all your money in berkshire hathaway and berkshire hathaway itself is a very well diversified company right it's like a it's like a mutual fund so you do, can do that so you can put all your money uh, over the years you put into one particular mutual fund and you made a lot of money yes but that mutual fund itself may have invested in 80 companies now when you are uh, doing direct equity investments you have to understand that diversification helps uh, because uh, you cannot put all your money on a single narrative right so in march 2020 Uh, if you had put all your money saying one day this uh, virus will be conquered and we will do very well therefore i am buying uh, 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 hotels and airlines and things like that you may have done very well but what if you had gone wrong what if you had gone wrong for 3 years uh, the corona virus uh, uh, imported from china had caused more damage and the recovery had taken more time and you yourself needed money at that time then it would have hurt you so different narratives high growth in us high growth in europe high growth in asia high growth in india high growth in uh, you, know, uh, you could uh, say all this could happen you could be uh, geared for high interest rates or low interest rates or a, or a portfolio saying okay when i when there is high interest rate these companies will benefit therefore i should have when there is low interest rate these benefits uh, these companies would benefit so i should have this so creating a portfolio like that creating a portfolio with geographic diversification you want to be invested in india of course but you also want to be invested abroad when you are invested in india you want some companies in western region some in the southern region some in the northern region and some in the uh, central or uh, eastern region also so you want some geographic diversification you also want group wise diversification you can't put all your money in one tata group or one birla group and say oh this group is very good i'll put all my money in that things could go wrong right so something happened between cyrus mis 3 and uh, uh, ratan tata right and uh, i'm sure god up there must have been uh, smiling saying you wanted cyrus mis 3 to look after your assets but well uh, cyrus mis 3 is gone before you did uh, one of the worst tragedies of 2022 would be losing cyrus mis 3 so having uh, said all this the question is how all do you diversify so i can tell you how all i diversify i i have um, investments in india uh, obviously 90% or 80% of my money is in indian equities uh, i also have money is abroad i also have something called global reit uh why a global reit well currently it's not doing well um world gold fund currently it's doing well but world commodity fund currently not doing well world agriculture fund uh, currently not doing well earlier it was doing well so all kinds of combinations if you have uh and one thing is very certain that 60% of your money or 65% of your money will be in core uh, big good indian uh, companies could be value could be growth could be a large cap right large and mid cap kind of thing that will be there but that satellite you can uh, you can put into all these things and suddenly find oh i got 33% return in this global commodity fund uh suddenly it could happen it will never happen uh, it will not be on a regular basis at that time you could decide to withdraw or say okay since it's only a small portion i'll continue to stay there or world energy fund is was doing very well uh if you had invested in sin stocks of us uh when the ukraine war broke out here yeah, that fund would have done extremely well right so if there is an uh, indian company which gives me a 
रैपर व्योर अमेरिकन डाइवर्सिफाइड इक्विटी आई वुड हैव हैप्पीली टेकन दैट एंड दैट वुड हैव परहैप्स डन बेटर देन देयर फैंग काइंड ऑफ अ फंड बिकॉज एनी वे आर्म्स अम्यूनिशन एक्सेट्रा सेल इन यूर यू एस दे सेल इंटरनेशनली सो वेन यू डाइवर्सिफाई अक्रॉस रेवेन्यू स्ट्रीम्स यू यू अक्रॉस चाइल्ड वैल्यू एंड ग्रोथ अक्रॉस कंट्रीज अक्रॉस ग्रुप्स अक्रॉस डिफरेंट रीजन्स विद इन अ बिग कंट्री लाइक इंडिया right so first of all it's very difficult to uh, find out a geographically well diversified company you do not know what is the implication for example once upon a time uh, i used to understand tata motors i could look at the numbers and say oh uh, if uh, if ashok leland is selling so many trucks uh, tata motors likely to sell more more in the specialized category but today i can't understand head nor tail of the tata motors balance sheet because i do not know uh, whether i should be celebrating europe do doing well or celebrating china doing well i do not know how much is the importance of each market for uh, jlr right so i uh, rely on somebody who is tracking it who does a much better job than i could do but uh, how do i uh, invest in uh, those countries why should i invest in us why should i invest in china uh, the reason is i get to do, uh, invest in those companies which are uh, which are getting in the chinese pe or the us pe or the taiwanese pe right or i get uh, good startups in taiwan i have no clue how to invest so i buy a wrapper fund which puts money in taiwan which will uh, invest in small startups big startups technology startups pharma startups right so all that kind of a thing so my revenue stream is uh, current revenue because current dividends are very important uh, for my day to day living and a future revenue by investing in some of these startups or reits or things like that which 5 years 10 years later might start paying good dividends right so some kind of a um, time diversification saying these are for current assets and these are for future assets if i buy uh, uh, say one of the uh, new fan companies uh, zomato nike paytm any of these i am not expecting that they will uh, in 2025 they will pay dividends i am expecting them in 2030 they'll start paying dividends perhaps so i am diversifying across time so across time across geography across styles across uh, revenue streams Uh, there are various ways in which you can diversify your portfolio, and it is nice to diversify. Even though 60-65 percent of your money will be in a core portfolio within in your home country, that home bias is not something which all of us are uh, all of us are not John Templeton to go to China and uh, Japan and invest, right? He did it well. Uh, Warren Buffett uh, did not do it. and warren buffett uh, but warren buffett invested in companies like coke and uh, ibm or uh, uh, companies which in which went abroad and invested and made money right so you either go yourself and put money in those companies or you invest in companies which go abroad and start investing anyway you need you got some international diversification so all these things are important while you create your own portfolio so when i when i create my own portfolio i realize the, my limitations that i cannot do international so my international exposure to equity is fairly obviously through mutual funds i don't have the competence to go and invest in uh, companies abroad uh, i don't even know how the whole process is so therefore a diversification across styles across geographies uh, across communities right you don't want all your money to be in one community so you have um, you you invest in a tata group murugappa group sundaram group you i share so you have geographic diversification style diversification all those things uh, of course you invest in mnc so you create a a whole portfolio rather than saying oh i have only one index fund that might work but uh, this is this might be more fun so ultimately your portfolio is going to do some e- giving you some yield giving you some fun testing your brain against what is happening in the world so all these put together is your portfolio it is not just one oh i put only money in an index fund that does not work for many people at least it won't work for me thank you